They were among the first responders in Leyte when the province was devastated by Typhoon Yolanda on November 8, 2013. For its initial relief drive, Tzu Chi Foundation Taiwan gave thermal blankets and instant rice to 30,000 individuals. 50 million worth of goods were airlifted by Taiwan's military plane on November 12. We cannot wait for solicitation. It will be too late to help the people. They need it so badly, immediately. So she said she called all 52 countries to go on street donation and then all this money sent to Philippines so we can implement the project very, very fast. From November 13 to 16, volunteers and staff members of Tsu Chi Foundation Philippines conducted surveys, immediate relief operations, and a medical mission in Leyte. They distributed thousands of packages containing a thermal blanket, a sleeping mat, a towel, t-shirts, underwear, bath soap, toothbrush and toothpaste, two bottles of drinking water, a pack of biscuits, and five kilos of rice. The victims were given free health care services by volunteer doctors who specialized in pediatrics, general medicine, and surgery. They also received medicine for their illnesses. As early as November 22, a total of 6,580 residents had already benefited from the Cash for Work program, a cleanup drive where participants were paid 500 pesos a day. Tzu Chi saw that the victims had to start recovering and rebuilding from the disaster at once, and monetary help was important. They gave families 8,000 pesos and 15,000 pesos each, depending on the number of members. Relief operation continued for several months and developed into longer-lasting assistance such as housing. In 2014, 100 housing units were turned over to families in Palo, Leyte, and in 2015, 150 units were given to families in Ormo, Leyte. Their relief operation in Leyte was their biggest undertaking, but for more than 20 years now, Su Chi Philippines has been extending assistance to disaster victims in many parts of the country. Su Chi Foundation was founded by a young Buddhist nun, Cheng Yen, in Taiwan in 1966, in her desire to practice an active form of Buddhism that reflected unconditional love through action. Dharma Master Cheng Yen believes that to save the world, we must believe in transforming human hearts. Transcending the bounds of race, nationality, language, and religion, its members serve the world under the notion that when others are hurting, we feel their pain. When others suffer, we feel their sorrow. The primary mission of Tzu Chi is to relieve the suffering of the poor and educate the prosperous. Master Cheng Yen said, it takes time to accumulate material wealth but spiritual joy can be obtained instantly in the moment we let go of greed and help people in need. But in Tzu Chi, it is not only the rich who have the privilege of giving. During the relief operations for Yolanda victims, volunteers from poor communities washed the clothes to be distributed. In Tzu Chi, all relief items are washed clean and carefully folded before repacking into boxes. This way, disaster victims are not only given aid, but also shown respect. One volunteer said it was her chance to repay Tzu Chi, who helped her family when a fire broke out in their community many years ago. Several of the volunteers came from Tatalon, Quezon City. This poor community in Tatalon is a stone's throw from the Still Thoughts Hall which houses Tzu Chi Foundation Philippines. Its relationship with Tzu Chi started when the foundation came to their rescue during the massive flood brought about by Typhoon Ondoy. Tzu Chi members from Tatalon are among the most active in the environmental program of the foundation. Ang ginagawa ka po ngayon, nagpagano po kami ma'am, yung mag-iikot po para sa pagkukoleksyon po namin ng kalakal sa bawat bahay-bahay po sa mga donor po namin dito po sa sa area ko po. 
Tapos yung ginagawa po namin, bawat isang, sa isang bahay po, kinukuha po namin yung recycle, tapos dinadala po namin sa bike, tapos pag napuno na po yung bike namin, dinadala po namin sa buliga at nagsisigrigit po kami. Maganda talaga na uh, sila mismo na natulungan, may empower sila to help others. No? Yung consciousness nila na love, no? yung great love kasi talaga siguro ang pinaka-foundation ng Tsutsi. Love grows as it is given. The more you help, the more it comes back to you. Relieving the suffering of the poor, caring for the environment, all the work that goes into this must be rooted in one thing, the transformation of the heart, which Master Cheng Yen believes is what will save the world.